this is another story time video. Um, I don't know, I have a ton of things that have just happened in my life that honestly if I had the patience or the money I would put it in a memoir, but I don't, so I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> Without further ado, I was attacked by cockroaches. So, I've never liked cockroaches. I don't know too many people who do like them, but I really don't like them. I had a very traumatic experience when I was young. I was about nine years old. Where our house was and where our car was parked, there was a giant oak tree, which is where palmetto bugs and, oak and cockroaches dwell and it overhung the driveway so our speculation is that my dad left the windows down in the car and they just started to just fall into the car I don't know what happened it was it honestly is so bizarre to me the whole experience uh, there were so many mysteriously weird things about this incident that really leave me scratching my head um but anyway so yes never really liked cockroaches um this experience has now made me completely terrified of them to the point where if one is in the room i freeze i can't handle it i i start to cry i start to scream um i'm getting chills talking about it actually so yes, my, my fear uh, is definitely cockroaches. I don't know too many other things that really kill me as much as that. So um, so basically, uh, it was a family day. Uh, we all were we all got in the car early in the morning uh, to head up to I believe Chuck E. Cheese's. I think that's where we were going. And um, you know, we spent the day out and about. Uh, literally for the entire day um, then we start heading home and this was about I don't know six o'clock five o'clock in the afternoon in the summer um, and all the while we've been using the same car all day uh, we've noticed no weird signs of anything uh, we literally use the car all day long and uh, everything's fine so at one point where I live we had a bridge and it was the only way to get back to where my hometown was uh, and this bridge didn't have any kind of uh, shoulders to pull off of um, no like medians no um, pull off anything it's literally here are the guardrails here's the road there was no in between um, so and it was only one lane uh, inbound to my hometown so it was a very very small bridge um, the moment that we got on that bridge suddenly from like every orifice of the car cockroaches everywhere and not I'm not over exaggerating like it was hundreds hundreds of cockroaches every size, every shape imaginable. And um, it was just, you know, instant. Like, it was almost like they, they waited for a signal and then they all just swarmed us. So they were coming out of the, the top of the car, the, the cloth that hangs at the top of the car, I can't remember what you call that, but um, they were coming out of the ceiling, they were coming out of the dashboard, they were coming out of the floorboards. They were coming out of the seats um, and they were crawling all over us. Um, my brother was a baby at the time um, and we were trying to keep them out of his mouth because he was screaming and they were crawling all over his face and um, they were crawling in my hair and I had very long hair when I was a kid too so it was a mess and we couldn't do anything about it. We couldn't just stop the car because we had you know 20 people in line behind us so we would have caused an accident which would have been worse my dad was literally having to kill the bugs uh from the windshield so he could see um because they were literally just swarming the car and you know so we had the windows rolled down they're just 
coming out of the windows, you know, um, and he's like smashing all the ones he can. And um, I, I don't know exactly how long that bridge is. I want to say it's like at least a mile long, um, but it felt like an eternity, of course. Um, once we got over the bridge, we were able to pull off into the grass and all jump out of the car and get them all off of us and out of our clothes and everything. Um, but I was I was traumatized um, because I like I kept feeling them crawling on me, even though they weren't. You know, they you know dissipated at this point, and um, but I just I kept clawing at my hair, thinking they were still on me. Um, you know, I was, I was devastated. I was so devastated. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I never liked him to begin with. So this made it even worse uh, for nine-year-old me. Um, and uh, it was a good 10 miles, 10 to 15 miles from our house uh, where we finally pulled off. So I refused to get back in the car. And we still had to go home. Um, my dad, you know, was checking everything. He was, you know, clawing at the seats and the head stuff and the dashboard and like banging around and just make sure they were all gone. And he's like, they're not in there. I got rid of all of them. They're all gone. Miraculously, it's like they're not even there anymore and we can get back to the car. And I, I refused. I was, you know, and my dad's like, we can't walk that far. You know, we have your baby brother with you and you're like, we can't walk that far. It's just too far to walk. And I don't honestly remember the ride home. I don't know if I got in the car or if like we had to sit for a while and wait. I really don't remember that part. I just remember for the next three days, I wasn't really able to sleep and I had a lot of trouble <laughs> just existing. I had a lot of like twitchy moments where I was trying to claw them out of my hair and my face and um, but yeah, it was, it was really bad. So that happened and still to this day, it's really bizarre to me, the whole thing. Like, like okay, you know, granted, it's very possible that my dad left the window down and they all got into the car that way. I mean, that's... A, a, an easy logical assumption to make. However, why did they all come out at once? Why did they all wait for the entire day to go by before they all swarmed us at once? Like, it's just, it's so weird. And, um, you know, like, why didn't we see them, like, maybe one just crawling around, like, on the ride up there? You know, why didn't. Um, you know, one or two or something like that. How is it that we were sitting in the seats and we were banging around and being kids and it, like none of them were disturbed? It wasn't until at a specific time of day that they all just sprung out at us at the same time. Um, I just, I didn't know those bugs swarmed, I guess. I, I know that, you know, locusts and cicadas and it, they're swarming insects but I just I because these were so many different varied breeds of cockroaches because they weren't like some of them were the little German cockroaches and some of them were the big palmetto bugs it's like I didn't really think they behaved similarly you know or I don't know I, I don't know this stuff all I know is it was extremely traumatic and extremely frightening um, and to this day I still can't believe that it actually happened it's, I've never heard anything like it, you know? Um, it's just, it's just so crazy to me. Um, and I really hope this has never happened to you and it never will happen to you. Um, because it was terrible. It was terrifying. It was awful. It was just the worst. And, you know, nope. Nope. <laughs> so if anybody ever doubts or questions, why I'm afraid of cockroaches, I will show them this video. That is what this will be used for. <laughs> if you do like what I'm doing here, I do have a Patreon page. Um, I will put the link below. Um, also, I have a GoFundMe page. Um, I did do some t-shirt designs. Um, that has ended, but you still have a chance to grab it. Um, 
if I get enough uh, interest in it, it will reopen the orders. Um, they are pretty snazzy. It's pretty cool, right? So I got mine. Um, I know there was a few orders, um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It's a really cool design. I like it. So you'll probably see me wearing this in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are amazing. You're gorgeous. And if anybody tells you anything different, they can suck it. Mwah.